Hello, this is Gage from tech.gageaims.com. Today I want to show you a program called Format Factory. This program is useful to convert pretty much any file you have into a different format. Um, when I say any file, I pretty much do mean any file. Uh, it offers a ton of different formats that you can convert into, and anything that it can convert to, it can convert from as well. Um, so let me just go down through some of the features here with you. So let's see, it can convert into all these different formats as far as video formats go. Uh, it has many different audio formats, image formats. Uh, one of the other cool features is that it can rip a DVD that you have to a video file so that you can watch it on your computer. And likewise, it can rip CDs, uh, music CDs that is, in order to get the audio files on your computer. Uh, it also supports uh, specifically converting videos to work on your iPod, iPhone, PSP, and Blackberry. And finally, it has some other unique little features that it can like edit videos and add watermarks to your images and things like that. So if this sounds like a program you'd be interested in, uh, go ahead and head on over to their website in order to get it. It's formatoz.com, F-O-R-M-A-T-O-Z.com right there and you'll be taken to this main page. From there, you're able to just use the download button over here on the right-hand side of their page to download the program, and that will download the installer, and then you can run the installer. And once you've done that, it will place the icon on your desktop. So I'm just going to show you a couple of the features of the program and convert a couple files for you. So if you open up the program, you'll be taken to the main interface, as you can see here. Over here on the left hand side, you have specific buttons if you know what you want to convert to. You can use these buttons. Um, all the video formats, there's audio formats here, picture formats. Here are the options to rip a DVD to a video or a CD to an audio file. It can also create ISO images from your CDs and DVDs and some of the advanced features such as joining video together, joining audio together, and editing video and uh, audio information. So over here on the right hand side you have the uh, kind of the main area where you'll see each one of your files that you're going to convert. You're able to easily just drag and drop the files that you want to convert over to that area and it will just ask you uh, what you want to do with those files, what format you want to convert them with. And it will only show you the formats that it can be converted to, so you don't have to worry about anything as far as that goes. Um, it also has a couple different skins if you would like to change like the colors and the look of it. It's a nice gray one. Um, so let me show you how to convert a couple files. I'm just going to drag this over here and then I will open up a folder of, let's say, some, I want to convert some pictures. So let's say I want to take these two pictures, and right now they are JPEG images, as you can see right down here. It's a JPEG image. And I want to take these pictures, and I want to make them PNG. So I'm just going to drag them over into the uh, right side of Format Factory and let go. And then it will give me the options that I have to convert them. So I want to convert them all to a PNG. Each time you'll have a little settings button up here. If you want to, let's say, restrict the size to a certain uh, set of dimensions, you can do that here. And here is where you can add in the watermark if that's what you would like to do. Um, so I'll just go ahead and do that just so I can show you and I'll say OK. And then say OK. And it will put those two files there. Let me make this a little bigger for you and it will show you where it's going to output them. The default output folder is just your My Documents folder and then FF Output. So to start your conversion of the files that you selected, go ahead and click the Start button, and it will show you progress for each individual file. And whenever it's done, it will give you a nice little notifi notification down there. Uh, to access the output folder, you can easily just go down to the left-hand corner of this program and click on the path right there. It will open up that uh, folder, and right there are your images. And now you can see, I'll show you that they're PNG images. And uh, if I open one of them up, then you'll be able to see the watermark that we added to them. All 
right there. So there's the watermark that I added down there in the corner. Okay, so that was some pictures. Pretty simple. And then let me go ahead and if, if this gets a little cluttered in here, you can always just click clear list up here. And I will show you how to convert some uh, videos. So let's say I have a video here that I want to convert. And let's say I want to put this on my iPod. So once again, I'll just drag it over here to the um, panel on the right. And then I will say that I want to convert them all to a mobile device. So then I can go into the settings button. And here's a list of all of the mobile devices it supports. There's a ton of them. So whether you have, you know, a Microsoft Zune, even the Xbox, or if you have, let's say you have an LG phone, a Nokia phone, a Motorola phone, anything like that. Um, pretty handy. So I'm going to just say that I want an iPod. So I will go to Apple slash or Apple iPhone and iPod. Go ahead and pull that down. And I'll pick that one. And I'll say okay. Oh, of course you have back here, you can actually edit the settings yourself. It just sets the default from what you pick over from the list on the left. Um, you can even add watermarks to your pictures. So that's pretty cool. Or, I'm sorry, not to your pictures, to your video. You can even add watermark to your video, so that's pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and say OK, and say OK again. And you don't have to just convert one type of format at a time. If I wanted to also bring up some um, music, I could drag in a music file here, and it would ask me what I wanted to convert that to. So if I wanted to convert this, what is MP3 right now, to, let's say, a... Hmm, AAC file, then you could say OK. There's also settings for that. You can set the bitrate, um, number of channels, and things like that. Uh, the quality. OK. So, once again, you can just hit the Start button up here to start your conversion of these files. And it will go through and uh, convert them to the formats you set, and any of the other operations that you want. Um, so I'm just going to stop this so I don't bore you. You can also use the options here on the left. Say I wanted to convert all to AVI, then it would bring up a setting where I could, you know, pretty essentially do the same thing. And I could add in my files like this if you don't like the dragging and the dropping um, of the files. So I hope you enjoyed this program and I hope it is useful to you. You can always find me at tech.gageaims.com or you can email me at gage at gaygejames.com. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy this program.